Hello, good afternoon. Now, this is David Soto talking to you, and today I'm going to show you how to use my new Excalibur Trend Indicator, okay? Using both my signal servers, and I'm going to show you how to uh, place a trade on um, a 30 minute chart, and I'm going to show you the open and uh, closure of the trade, okay? So basically, uh, what I have here is USD SEK, okay? I posted a signal over an hour ago in my Telegram signal group, and what I like to do is Okay, use a 30 minute chart, but I like to also wait for the indicator to stop repainting before I get into a trade, okay? And if you see here on the chart, okay, we have an up arrow, okay? And it's showing that it's gonna be going up. We also see that it's had hit a level of support before, came up, but didn't go up a whole lot. And kind of just hovered over here in this range. And now has dropped again and formed another uh, level of support with an up arrow, okay? And just so you know, originally this arrow came in on this candle right here. The sense has repainted three times already and is now on this arrow here, okay? So with that said, I'm going to wait another um, 30 minutes to see if this uh, repaints or not, okay? And uh, I'll, I'm going to pause the video, come back to you, and then I'm going to show you my point of entry. I'm going, to I'm going to show you placing a trade, and then also I'm going to show you how I close the trade, okay? So let me pause the video, and then I'll come back to you when I'm ready to place a trade, okay? Hold on just a little while. Okay, one thing to note here is that this indicator is not repainted, okay? And I just waited about another 15 20 minutes, and now it has formed another candle, and there is no repaint. So, this is an excellent time to go ahead and place the trade. And what I like to do is once I place the trade, I'll switch over to the five minute chart. I'm going to wait for a red arrow to form, and then I'll close the trade. Okay, this way I'm not even I'm not stuck in a trade for 24 hours or more than 24 hours and incur swap fees. I could also use a 15 minute chart for the closure. And really doesn't matter too much, but for this video, I'm just going to use a five minute chart and show you for the closure, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and place a trade right now because it's already starting to go up and be done. And now uh, we see a little bit of a difference in gap here because of the spread. This pair has kind of a big spread, but it's okay. <clears throat> now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video again and then I'm going to wait for this to form a red arrow, okay? We see that on the five minute chart, it actually, uh, I could have got in a little bit sooner, but it's, a, it's okay, because I just, I went on the 30, I want to be on 30 minute chart and make sure it doesn't repaint no more and then jump into a trade, okay? That's my basic strategy. I don't need to use any Heikinashi or any other indicators. I don't need to use a moving average or nothing. Just wait for the indicator to stop repainting, place a trade, and then uh, switch back to the five minute chart and then wait for the opposite arrow and close it, okay? So anyhow, um, let me pause the video now and then I'll come back to you here in a little while, maybe another 30, 40 minutes, I don't know exactly, and then I'll show you this uh, closing, okay? So I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, I'm back now and after, a, unfortunately after a couple of hours, um, this has, I placed a trade, it was right here in this candles here, but it dropped down even further, which is really not bad. It's only about 100 pips that it dropped down, 100 points, and now it has shot back up. It finally stopped repainting, as you can see here. This is the final bottom, but um, it's just now starting to creep in the profit, okay? Now I want to, I'm gonna wait, okay? I'm on a 30 minute chart, but what I'm going to do is come down to a 5 minute chart and I'm going to wait for a red arrow to form, okay? And once the red arrow forms, then I'll close the trade, okay? Now, if you see here, this was like a hard area of uh, resistance. If I draw a line right here, we see that this was a level of resistance before. I don't know if it's going to go that high because 
you know, our last level of support was here, which was broken, and now we have a level of support here now. So the next level of resistance may not go that high. But what I can tell is that we're definitely going to an uptrend. If you look at the one hour, we have a solid um, support level here, okay? Has not repainted on the one hour. Four hour is not showing, but we do see that there are many times in the past where if you look at this one right down here in the bottom, okay, this one here never formed an up arrow, but obviously it formed a new uptrend, okay? Same thing here, here, and uh, even here, right? So the four hour is not necessarily reliable for, you know, short term trading, okay? Can't necessarily go off of that for reversals. So I'm thinking that there will definitely be a reversal, okay? And I have this line drawn right here, so if I if I want, I could just uh, leave this open for the next day or two, really, and catch a lot of pips. But my plan is to keep a trade open for less than 24 hours, okay? Now, right now, the market is very slow because this is going towards the end of the New York session. So I don't know how much longer it will be before I can close this trade. The market is moving very, very slow right now. But I will base this off of a five minute chart. And I'm going to pause the video and then come back, you know, after a while and then um, just show you I closed it and show you pro how much profit I made. And, um, you know, my plan is to just show you from start to finish how I place a trade. Now, one thing I did notice, I want to kind of show you before I forget, is there's a nice downtrend, okay? If I get to tr draw a trend line, okay, and we come right here, <clears throat> we see, uh, let me uh, connect the dots here a little better, but if we connect here, 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 you know, almost here and here, you have a beautiful downtrend, okay? Now, what you could do, I did not do in this particular video, um, I plan on making some more videos, but you could actually place a pendant order, a stop order, above this trend line, okay? And that way, once it breaks above this, outside of this trend line, then we know we have a definite clear new trend in the up direction okay now you see many times before there was up arrow but no red arrows okay which means that it was really a strong downtrend and this is dictated by the four hour chart because it was definitely going to a downtrend okay but we also see that we're hitting this strong area of support where it's hit many times before so i feel that this is the absolute final bottom right here okay and this will be going up now and the fact that we do have an up arrow on the one hour chart signifies that yes this is the final bottom now is a good time to get in on this uh, USD SEK so anyhow um, I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna come back to you in probably a few more hours and show you the closure of this okay just hang tight thank you so much okay I'm back now and this uh, on the five minute chart, it has finally developed a red arrow. This took a couple hours because the market is so slow right now. But um, the problem, if you notice right here, the problem is that it's very, very um, small profit right now. It's just um, I'm not happy with closing this on a five minute chart. If we go up to the 15 minute chart, if we go up to the 15 minute chart, we see there is no uh, red arrow, okay? And if we notice this trend line, it is just starting to break this trend line, which means that it's going to a new up direction, okay? A new uptrend. So, I feel pretty confident that this is gonna continue shooting up, all right? Probably back up towards this blue line here that I drew previously all right this area of resistance so what I want to do is I have plenty of time still 
I'm going to wait a, another probably a couple more hours. I don't know. Hopefully not, but I'm going to wait probably another hour or two. And then I am going to uh, close the trade when I get a red arrow. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. So, unfortunately, I'm going to pause the video again and then come back here in a couple hours if I'm still awake. <laughs> so, anyhow, that's what I'm going to do. I am going to check on this every probably every 30 minutes just to see exactly what is going on I feel this probably take about another two hours because the market is pretty slow it's picking up a little bit right now coming into the uh, Asian session but anyhow I'm gonna pause the video and then uh, come back here just a little bit okay thank you okay I'm back now and this trade is just hovering right here it's in profit, but I wanted this to go up more, and I'm sure it will. But I'm gonna head and uh, I'm gonna stop the video now because it's gonna take too, way too long to uh, make this video. And uh, but I have a little bit of profit, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this and be done. Okay. So basically, how I trade, generally speaking, is use the 30-minute chart for entry. Okay. I look at the 30-minute chart. If I get an arrow, okay, I wait until about you know usually about three or four candles before I enter a trade okay once I enter a trade then I switch back to a five minute chart and I wait for the next uh, opposite arrow to close the trade okay <clears throat> this way you know I'm only getting a hundred pips roughly but I'm able to close the trade out the same day and not incur any swap fees okay now, if I want, I could use a one hour chart like this, for example. And you already see it breaking this trend line. So I know we're going to have a new uptrend. Okay. I could leave this trade for a few days, maybe even a few weeks. I don't know exactly. All right. But if I really want, and I do that sometimes, but generally, most of the time, I try to open and close the trade the same day. All right, there's so many different trading opportunities out there. You know, why should I incur swap fees when I can simply close the trade out? You understand? So that is uh, how I trade this. So let me know if you have any questions or comments. You can simply contact me on Facebook. There is a link below in the description of the video for my personal Facebook account. Also, there is a link below for my private Facebook group. If you have not joined my Facebook group, please do so. And you can post any questions or comments in my Facebook group and myself or other traders can assist you in answering your questions. Okay, so uh, thank you and have a wonderful day.